Whoops, you know, my hand. So divide uh, 15xy squared plus 20x squared y by 5x. So as we talked about before, it's this whole thing divided by 5x, which is the same thing as taking each individual term and divide each individual term by 5x, right? So we're going to divide 50x That make sense? So that's that's the, the first step. That's the that's the important first step, right? Yeah, I got that right. Yeah. Right. And the next step is just, you know, be careful with our cross cancelling. Like if the first one works out pretty nice, because well we can do the numbers right off the bat, right? So we can go five to five goes once, five to fifteen three times. Okay, that part? Um, so that would be 3x. Right, but 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 we can also cross cancel the x's here, can't we? Yeah. Right. Okay. So we got three times one times y squared all over one, which will be three. Y two. Yeah, three oh, y squared. Good. Three times y squared, yeah. Plus, and um, this one, I'm just going to encourage students to write, because we're it's x squared over x, I'm just going to encourage students to write this. Just go like x, x, y. Just to make it nice and simple. All over 5x. Okay with that? So, so just yeah. write out your x squared and then carefully cross cancel. See, the problem with math is if you make one mistake, then you're wrong. And you won't get the points, you know. So there's no rush, and we'll just take our time and get it right. Yeah. But that's usually usually students have, when students take a test, they usually mess up on little things like that. So. So five to five once, five to twenty. And you can see the screen, okay, right? Yeah, I can see the screen. And then the x's cross cancel, or one of them does anyway, right? Yes, yeah, so it'd be 4xy. Love it, yep. This is 4 times okay. 1 times x times y over 1 times 1, so 4xy. Now, are these like terms? Mm. No. Correct. They're not like terms. I mean, like, and so, so that's why we're done, because they're not like terms. Whereas, if it was something like, you know, 3y squared plus 4y squared, are they like terms? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They are. They're the same thing. That's 7y squared. It'd be kind of like saying, you know, let's say y was 10, so y squared was 100. So it'd be kind of like saying, okay, I got 300s plus 400s. What's 300s plus 400s? 700. 700s. Simple as that. 700s, right? 3y squared and 4y squared, 7y squared. Um, or even if you had, um, like, let's say you had, like, and, and again, everyone watching at home, I'm just making this up off the top of my head just to review, like, terms a little bit. But what if you had, like, say, 2xyz uh, plus uh, 5xyz? What do you think that would be? Um... So it be 10x y? Yeah, or we're, we're adding like terms, right? Um, so adding, sorry. so 7. Yeah, 7x y. Yeah, 7xyz, yep. Right. Yeah, that's, that's, I just made up a letter z there. Yeah, that's all. Or something like um, 10ab minus um, 4ab. Uh, I can't see anything. Oh, 10AB minus 4AB. Uh, that'd be 6 Yeah, 6AB. Yep. These are like terms. 
but but it because a b is the exact same thing right but you know x y and y squared not the same thing so not like terms and that's why we're done in that question right